Hey guys, I'm gonna reveal to you a dumb moment directly from Eric, the the RV guy. Uh, first of all, I'm doing a channel check here. I have it's already found 90 channels. Well, it's about almost done here. Got one more to check. There we go, and it's on. Uh, 90 channels. Yeah, let me just mute this real quick. I want to talk about the antenna that I have up here. We all know you crank that thing and the antenna goes up and then you get channels, right? Apparently I am very ignorant in the fact that I did not know that there was another step to receiving free TV over the air. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that 90% of my viewers know this and they're gonna be like, really Eric? Once the antenna goes up, this white cap right here pulls down and rotates the antenna. I don't even know what to say. I did not even know that existed. I, I, man. So I went back to Camping World and I bought another Sensor 4 HDTV with the extra added uh, directional thing to it. It's just sitting up on the roof right now because I just, I didn't even put it in. Uh, I, I feel really embarrassed that I didn't know that. Let me go up on the roof real quick actually and show you. I'm at a rest stop here near, well, between Kissimmee and um, Kathleen. And yes, I actually pronounced it right. Not, many of you probably thought I was gonna say Kissimmee, but it's Kissimmee. That's because I talked to John Yarby. Uh, let me go up in the roof. I didn't need to buy the one that has all the hardware, but I needed the two pins. I did not have these two pins, so that's why I bought all the hardware, but now I have a backup one. Uh, I have it rotated in this position. The problem is, the way this mounts normally, this twists around like this, so the, this is facing this way, it hits the AC. It comes to here and the AC's in the way. So, uh, it's not an option for me. I have to have it aimed this way, so I'm gonna drill opposite holes so that I can flip this and have it basically aimed the way it is now, off this way. But, yeah. Wow. That's a da -da 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 moment from Eric Nomadic Fanatic. Be honest, guys. How many other people didn't know about that, though? I I'm really curious to hear. How many other people didn't know that you could still direct the Batwing antenna in a 360 degree range? I didn't know that. Okay, I got the oven and bent on. I'm making a, a, a health pie, AKA pizza. Now, let's talk about mail because I don't get a whole lot of packages. I do get my mail though. I wanna talk about how I get mail and packages the last three months on the road away from home. First thing is I have kept my Olympia post office box paid up front so I get mail. They don't allow packages to that post office, but I've heard that they do it some, and I'm not gonna get into all that. It doesn't matter. I have a friend who has been checking my mail once a week, giving me updates on what it is, and if there is something I have to get, there's two things we've done. We've done general delivery to a post office that I'm expecting to be at in a week. Basically, you would just write Eric Jacobs, general delivery, and then the address of the post office, and they will hold that for you. You show them your ID when you get there, and they will check to see if they have your mail not worked for me when I change my my plans all the time but oh well uh, the second option is I've had friends and viewers and people that I've met on the road off YouTube and Facebook be in a town that I'm expecting to be at and I'm gonna see them so they will let me ship the, you know a bulk amount of my mail to their address and a lot of uh, um, Amazon orders and stuff like that um, a great idea for getting Amazon stuff sent is just to have it sent to a gift and just change it to their name and their address, they get it, but it's really my stuff. That way there's no problem. The post office doesn't get confused because it does go to the name that's at that address. My tabs expire this month. So, how do you get your license plate tabs renewed on the road when you're not in your home state? Now, first of all, I just want to reiterate, I had to do a lot of research on this topic. Now. I'm on extended vacation, if, if anyone were to ever ask. 
it's impossible for me to apply for a new address right now because I don't have 30 days residency in any state in this in this country. It just won't happen. I'm current. I'm always on the move. I will never be able to establish new residency. Therefore, as far as United States is concerned, I'm still a resident of Washington State, and that's where all of my insurance and tax information goes, all of my registration and my driver's license. I can't change it, even if someone thinks that I should be able to. You can't. I mean, unless you were to, you know, break the law and and lie about it. But physically stating the facts, I I am still a Washington State resident. Now, for tabs, you can get them in, in office in in the county, the state of Washington somewhere, or you can do the online stuff. But when you buy your renewal tabs online in Washington State, you only have two options. One, you can pick them up and it will direct you to your local office to physically pick them up, or they will mail them to the address they have on file. So my driver's license file now has my post office listed as a billing and mailing address. On the actual ID, it has my last um, physical residence in Olympia, Washington. So what had happened was I paid for it online. It got shipped to my post office. My buddy got that information, all that stuff, and he's putting together another packet that is going to Panama City. I have a buddy in Panama City, Billy, who's going to collect that for me. And then when I come back through on my route back up, I'll grab that mail. Now. Obviously, I'm not talking about any of the other ideas that you may have heard because I've not tried them and I don't have experience with them. So if you want to research some of the ideas of uh, having your mail forwarded, there's that option. Post office places will forward your mail somewhere else, but it's not going to work for someone like me who moves every single day. There's also places where you can buy... Actually, I'm not even going to talk about that. because I, I don't know about that and I don't even know if it's legal. And anyway, I'm just telling you how I did it. But it's difficult I'm just saying you can't I can't renew my license and get license plates for Florida it's not even a possibility unless you are a resident of Florida so make sure you look into the legality of stuff like that and but I, I basically I was right when I left by saying I'm on extended vacation I literally don't know when I'm getting back I will always live in Washington State and but I'm always going to be on the road, too, so... Eh. Alright, another thing I just noticed... I have... Ever since I've had this camera, I've always been shooting on the low light option turned on. I didn't know that. It doesn't, like, auto-do it. It's just... Low light's been on the entire time. That kind of makes sense why a few, of, a few of my videos, when the sun's out, are look really distorted in certain frames and... Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, I have it turned off right now for this trip. I'm going to go find this Walmart here real quick and call it a night. 13 minutes to exit 33, County Road 582, Socrum Loop Road. Yeah, sometimes when the RV is warm, it, uh, does, it has a hard time starting up. It's weird. I don't... No biggie. It always does start eventually, but also uh, since I'm using the wind-up antenna again all of a sudden, <clears throat> instead of all the other different antennas that I've tried, I need to make another note down here on the dashboard that says antenna exclamation point. So I've got solar chargers. I've got the uh, solar switches down here, but I don't think you want to get caught driving with your antenna up just get ripped off the roof. I don't know. Why don't you just uh, sleep this trip away? And I'll do the driving this time. Sound good? Sounds good. Uh, one other thing about trolls and comments and stuff like that. You know, I read an article about how the government's thinking about banning anonymity online, which I think is a fantastic idea, because only someone who creates a fake account and hides behind something that they don't have to be accountable for is the type of person who's going to make the types of comments that you see on my channel. It's just not real life. It's not real. You know, 
go up to someone in person and you're held, you're held accountable for what you say and what you do and the threats you make. Online, especially YouTube, it's a joke. Nobody that says those things would ever say it from their, from their real name and account and give away the information. So I, that's why I don't let it get to me anymore. It's all fake anyway. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm sorry if I don't respond to you in the comments anymore. It's just I don't see the point of it anymore. People are not using it for what it's meant to be for. But thank you for trying. Actually, before I get to Walmart, there's a Starbucks here. The next exit. I need to upload some videos from Disneyland still. So I'm gonna stop there and upload some videos. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>